Okay, so in this video, what I'm gonna be showing you, as I promised in my previous article, is how to make a very strong and functional rope um, from a trash bag. Now this was made from essentially a single ply trash bag. Um, not very strong, not super big, but it's about a six foot long rope, and it's very strong and, and very durable. Uh, so let's get into it. All right, so let's show you how this was done. So basically what I did was uh, took a trash bag, um, you know, laid it out, cut it out so it's all laid out flat, and then used a knife and just cut four strips down the long way. And so this is going to form the rope. What you want to do so that you can make a, a large extension of a rope is essentially stagnate it. And uh, I'm going to do that as follows. So I'll create a piece here that will crumple up, another small one here. And all that you do is you take one, you start to twist it one way, and this way I'm doing it clockwise. And then this other one, I'm also going to do the same thing, twist this clockwise, each of them. And then what I do is I individually take the two and what's called reverse wrap it counterclockwise, or the opposite way that I'm twisting. So here's the process. Essentially, I keep doing that. Twist the top one, reverse wrap it. Continue in that process, reverse wrap it, continue. And continue down until <clears throat> I reach the end. So I'll fast forward this or uh, move this forward and show you the end part. Okay, so we are now done with the rope here. As you can see, it's not the prettiest thing, uh, but it is very functional and, and, and very strong for its size. This can be used in most um, lashings and bindings that you might need a simple rope for. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it, obviously, to do any repelling or anything like that. But for most functional uh, bindings and, and knot tying and lashings, you can certainly use a rope like this. Another way, though, if you wanted a stronger rope um, is is doing a process called double reverse wrapping. And essentially what you do is you just find the middle point somewhere and you twist the whole thing counterclockwise and then the whole thing clockwise back in on itself and then the top one here counterclockwise, the whole thing counterclockwise or clockwise, counterclockwise again for the individual ones, the whole thing clockwise and so on all the way down until you reach the end of the rope. And what you're going to be left with is a thicker strand of the rope here um, that is doubly as strong, and it's what's called a double reverse wrap. So, um, yeah, play around with it. Let me know what you guys think, and take care.